So after a few days of really thinking about it and making sure the calculations are correct, I've come to the conclusion that, yep, 2015 is after 2014. So yeah, here we are on F1 2015, ready to play some Karim... Oh, what? Oh, wait. No. No. We can't play F1 2015 career mode because there was no career Why? What's gone on here? You thought 2014 was bad, which it, which it was, but 2015, oh, oh, oh. 2015 told 2014 to hold its steering wheel. Before you even get into the game, you're met with this menu of what do you want to play, 2015 or 2014? And that in itself was weird enough because I don't think I've met a single person who clicked the 2014 option like who buys f1 2015 which came out i think halfway through 2015 it wasn't as late as other f1 games it came out a little bit early but still well into the 2015 irl season so who buys the 2015 game and thinks yeah you know what i'm gonna play last year's season because that's why i bought the 2015 game to play the 2014 season and even that mode didn't have career mode none of it did this game had no career mode no career mode i just want to get that across it literally did not have the game mode. We had championship season, pro season, which again, like they did in older F1 games, was just a clever way to disguise the same thing a different way. It was basically championship season with all the settings turned to like the hardest difficulty, everything, you know, aids off and, you know, cockpit cam only. Quick race which may as well have been championship season, essentially, because you could, because right now in the current F1 games, you play Grand Prix mode, and you could either do a quick race, or you can do what is effectively championship season in Grand Prix mode. So, again, pretty much three modes on the menu that the exact same thing. Multiplayer, time trial, and then you've got the settings, and then a quit to game, which, to be honest, is a great mode to be I think a lot of people use this mode quite often. So yeah, uh, the video's titled Playing F1 2015 Career Mode, and um, th there is none to play, so uh, that's th that's awkward. I think that's the video done, to be honest, so uh, yeah, if, you if you've enjoyed it, guys, be sure to hit that like button, and uh, if you're new around here, do get subscribed for weekly F1 content, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Now, of course, of course, the video's not over yet. We're actually going to play F1 2015. We're going to have to play the championship season, the B-Tech career mode. But in all honesty, like, what, what went through Cody's minds when they didn't have career mode in the game? Like, like, you guys think the problems that people have now with the current actual career mode are issues? What about just the issue of it not existing? Like, just to put into context how stupid of an idea this was and a travesty that this entire thing was... FIFA, where the career mode has consistently got worse and worse over the years, at least EA haven't removed career mode at any point. They've still kept it in there. Whereas Cody's just went, you know what? Just get rid of it. Yeah, I, uh, yeah people don't need it. So anyway, yep, yeah, come on, let's play championship season. Can't wait. So team select, what should we have a, have a go for here? I'm going to go for McLaren Honda, actually, because this was obviously the uh, peak pinnacle banter era for McLaren and Honda. And we're going to go with JB, my man. I remember doing a, a career mode with him uh, when F1 2015 was out. I think it was uh, my second season of uh, quote-unquote career mode, basically. we all, all us YouTubers had to label it as career mode, but obviously everyone knew the gist of it. It wasn't a career mode. It was just a Grand Prix season. Now, obviously in other departments, the game did have some good things. Obviously, it was the first game on the next gen at the time, which was PS4 and Xbox One. So, graphically speaking, the game did look a lot better. You know, you already can tell the player faces are a lot better. The driver faces are a lot better and even like the menu styling to be fair is a lot better graphically speaking compared to 2014 which was just a rehash of 2013 which was just a rehash of 2012 so things did progress in that kind of way but you know in terms of actual features of gameplay it left a lot to be desired. I actually spotted actually one positive here in the menus. I'm actually able to do a three-lap race uh, for the championship season. Um, so at least that's one positive, you know. I'm not held hostage to a 25% race. Can you imagine doing a 25% race on this game? Because uh, that's another thing. The uh, traction, horrendous. Welcome to Melbourne, where qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix should be getting underway shortly. Right, here we go. Our first lap back on F1 2015. Graphically, like I said... A big step up from 2014 and still holds up to today, to be fair. Not too bad, really, but uh, 
Oh, God, this McLaren Honda, absolute banter car this was. This was a, a struggle and a half to do a career mode in this car. The sound did improve a lot from 2014, like, a lot. Like, we're talking from a toaster to an actual F1 car engine. And to be fair, the Honda, I did like the sound of the Honda on this game. Although, to be fair, I think that's more the fact that back in this year, of course, the Honda engine sounded a lot more earthy, I think we'll say. I mean, sick could be another word for it. So it definitely sounded a little bit more throaty uh, compared to the recent years where it's a bit smoother and kind of a bit more like the other engines around there. So that's that's a reason why I kind of liked it, the aggressive uh, aggressive sound. But um, yeah, physics-wise, like, like I was saying, the traction... Um, yeah, it was something to behold. Um, I think that was the biggest issue with the game, and everyone had issues with that. Uh, apart from that, it was actually pretty okay. A uh, foundation, if you will, to what was to come. I will say, though, right now, I can't lie, the frame rate is, um, interesting to say these. I don't know if it'll get picked up in the video, but right now, the frames aren't the best. I think I might be losing a couple every second, to be honest. And of course, actually, if you've been on the channel for a while at least, uh, you know, you'll know 2015 actually did have some very good memories for myself personally. It was obviously the game that kick-started the infamous F1 My Driver series. You know, it was on this game, actually. I keep forgetting all the time that we started My Driver on F1 2015 because the game was so abysmal. So if anything, thank you very much, Cody for making the game so atrocious and without a career mode because it was that atrocity that made me, you know, come up with uh, with the concept of my driver to actually have a career mode basically in the game and bodge job that in and that obviously spiral into what was an eight season very fun big flagship series on the channel. But now let's get into this race then. We're on pole position, uh, of course, because I definitely didn't turn down the AI. But uh, it, it's time to see how, how the race goes. Three laps so we can get through this and actually get onto some other tracks potentially as well. So uh, let's just do this then to five red lights to the Australian Grand Prix in the championship season. And my game's broken. The control is not working very well. And that is that. I'm not doing that. What's, why is the car accelerating and yet the wheels aren't spinning and I'm stopped on track and now I've been disqualified from the... What? Right, so I don't know what's just happened here, but I didn't, my car didn't get underway. It's making some sounds from the engine as if it was accelerating, yet the rear tires weren't spinning up and I was unable to do anything with the controls and now I've been disqualified. Well, that just sums up F1 2015 in a nutshell then, doesn't it? Because if you remember, this game had so many bugs, it was it was beyond hilarious. It was just actually annoying by the end of it. Like, we got a few good montages of funny stuff happening, but then it just got to a point where it's like, okay, can I actually now just play the game like, like I wanted to? I mean, I did buy it. What on earth is going on? We are going into the Matrix. We just aliens are trying to teleport us. They're just shining their beam across the circuit. It's even bigger than before now. It's the entire circuit. They're just trying to teleport us as best they can. I think McLaren's a bit too heavy to be lifted up into the air. Oh, Rich Mix, Rich Mix. Yeah, like that's going to help you, buddy. Like that's going to help you. So we're trying to overtake Kimi Raikkonen, and he just decides, oh, no, no, no. I'm going to I'm trying. I'm going to try and smoke screen you to kind of blind you. You know, that's going to really help. I think this is Kimi's new plan in F1 2015 to win a race. He's just going to smoke screen the entire grid. It's a very big battle for first place here at Abu Dhabi. The second place man comes through on the left-hand side. Over... What? He overtakes him, but... But what is going on? He, his car is invisible. His car isn't... I didn't know if this was James Bond. When the pull from home is far too much stuck in the pit lane here or rather being pulled back to the pit lane and it looks like we may have escaped the pit lane actually so uh, maybe we have uh, pulled away from the nope 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 we spoke too soon this is jeff this is jeff coming for a tire change next lap coming for a tire change next lap <laughs> what the f do you mean jeff i don't even have any tires on oh yeah oh what a solid start to the season that is good stuff mate good stuff on to the next round i think right we're at the back this time we're gonna try and see if how far up the order we can get but it's the malaysian gp and we're and we're not on the way and the same things happen isn't it yeah the same things yeah what why why is this happening why does it sound like it's on full throttle and yet nothing is happening can i change up gears oh i can I can also... Uh, what? I didn't ask the engineer that! I didn't ask the engineer the question and I've uh, been the squat. Okay, okay. 
Okay. So apparently this game is so broken, I can't even play it with this controller. So I'm going to chuck that over there. Um, and I'm going to have to break out the keyboard then. Um, this is not gonna go well. Right, here we go, round number three, the Chinese GP time. I've got my keyboard, so this is not gonna go well, but, uh, you know, needs must. This is the only way I can apparently play the game now, so thanks for that, Cody. So, right, here we go then, to five red lights to the Chinese Grand Prix, and we're on the way. This has now become a survive keyboard challenge, and I've forgot to change it off manual, and I'm not going anywhere, and this has just been one big fail of an episode. Kind of a lot like when the game launched. We're going once again for the Chinese Grand Prix, and now I've got to catch up to the, uh, to the mana cars before I can even do anything there, and the game has now frozen... And that's cool, and it's unfrozen now, and that this is actually just going so well. Let's try that again, shall we? Take number two. We didn't see that. We're going to cut that out in the editing suite. Right, here we go then. Time to do the business. Like I said, it's going to be a... It's, it's become a survive episode with a keyboard, essentially, with that minus the, the realistic damage, and I don't actually know what the break button is, and that's worrying. Um, okay, I think it's control, and this... You know what? 2015... It, I thought keyboard, the keyboard was bad on F1 2018. The keyboard handling on this. Oh my god. I feel like I'm walking a tightrope with this car. Here we go, down the inside. It's a big dive and what are these steering inputs? Don't mind me, don't mind me. Why well, was Vettel down there in P13, Also, I just want to say that. Right, come on. I'm being overtaken by everyone. No, Alonso, I can't. Not having that, I'm not having that. I've got to go around the outside. Why is there so much understeer? This is an accurate representation of the game's handling. This is what I was talking about, about, you know, good foundation, but bad traction. You can definitely tell by uh, by the gameplay on show right here. All right, here we go. Close up to Fernando. Let's go for a cheeky dive down the inside, shall we? Uh, the car seems to veer when I brake. It's like when I press the brake button, it also is doing some steering input, which isn't great. But we've made it work, to be honest. And we're up into P16. Look at that. Flat out. We're going to get Felipe Nazza. We're going to absolutely mug him off in front of his pals here. Because the Honda engine, well, it shouldn't really be overtaking him. But here we go then, Sonny Jim. Uh, oh, we've topped out. We've topped out 200. That's uh, that's great. But now down the inside in the break zone, we've got it. And we're up into P15. Danke Fiat down in P14 in a Red Bull. So uh, they clearly did him very dirty at 2015 with his performances. I'm actually getting the hang of it, though. I think I reckon we could finish all three laps here with P15. I, I think some points are on the cards, to be honest. All right, here we go. Catching up to Kafia. He's stuck behind Ericsson, so I need to try and make a dive, maybe. We're going to try one here. Yes, I will. Thank you very much. You can't tell the AI is on very low at this moment in time. Clearly not. I'm definitely running on max here. I like the only the, only the biggest of challenges on a keyboard, sending it to the inside of Ericsson. And we're up into P13. Loving that. So, and there's a huge train up ahead. Uh, tail ended by Verstappen. Um, so let's try and get, get him if we can. Or, you know, might just be overtaken by Ericsson. That it's quite embarrassing. That pff, That's the Honda power in 2015. I, I actually forgot how horrendous it was. It's like I've got a parachute at the back of my car. And, oh, what are those physics? That was nearly a half spin on the on the tyres. This is when the side pod glitch was a big thing here as we go through to the last corner, the uh, the place where I absolutely sent Matty G into a rage and fit in a certain series that shall not be named, but let's try and catch Ericsson. It's the last lap. If anything, I've just got to try and stay ahead of Ericsson for some dignity and some pride, which, let's be fair, has already gone out the window. I've been done by Kafiat. No, it's all going horribly wrong. And so in the end, in this super realistic three-lap Chinese GP, Hamilton wins it. We're going to come home in P15. At least I've beaten Fernando on the keyboard. But that was uh, that was F1 2015 then. Obviously, um, as you could tell by the video, um, the experience of F1 2015 was a lot of glitches. A lot of glitches. And just um, just confusion and bafflement of why, why there was no career mode in this game. You know, if there weren't that many glitches... And there was an actual, you know, even a basic career mode like 2014 ad. This would have been an okay game. Like, it wouldn't have actually been that horrendous. It would have been pretty solid, actually, in my opinion. But because it was riddled with about 5 million bugs that didn't get sorted ever, clearly, as you saw today, there's still some bugs with the controllers and whatever. Um, and the fact that there was no actual main game to play, um, it was, yeah, a very low-tier and dark time 
in uh, F1 gaming, uh, certainly for YouTubers everywhere. It was a, a very interesting time. I mean, let's put it this way. Uh, yes, I did do my driver in this game, but before that, I actually went back and played F1 2014. Yeah, yeah, I actually went back and did an entire series on F1 2014 because this game actually drove me that far up the wall. Like, really let that sink in. Like, watch the previous video of me playing F1 2014 career mode, then come back to this video and this sentence I just said, and let that really sink in. But there we have it. We played F1 2015 career mode without there actually being any career mode. And so I'm going to leave it on my favorite game mode on this game, the quit game. So guys, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you are new around here, do subscribe for weekly full-on content. I've been Arifa. Hope you enjoyed today. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.